What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to show you guys how to get what I believe is a hidden raid quest giving you an exotic raid heavy weapon but before we go any further guys if you want to win a rockstar destiny 2 in-game exclusive gear code simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below okay so the reason i believe this is a raid related weapon that being a heavy weapon i will explain after i show you guys how to get this okay so first things first how I got this was by grinding strikes and it randomly dropped from a cabal enemy. A lot of my friends have had this drop doing patrol missions on Nessus, but it does seem to drop after you take out a cabal combatant. Might not be the case for everybody, but all the guys I spoke to and how they obtained it, this was the case. Activity wise though, that part is random. I was doing the arms dealer's strike, not the nightfall version, just the standard version. And as you can see, it pops up on screen. What you get is something called on the comms, which also states it's a power weapon. Obviously going into your power weapon slot within your inventory, when checked out we can see it says it's the start of a quest. The first step of this quest is to return to Nessus and recover communication ciphers from Red Legion troops. So to start the quest guys, head to Nessus. Now I will warn you, this step took me ages, literally took me over an hour. What you need to do is find and eliminate Cabal enemies on Nessus. At a rare chance of one of these things dropping, you're looking for a Red Legion communication pop-up. Like I said though, these drop at random and it took me ages to get five, which is how many you need. In my opinion, the best area for you to do this is the cistern, located at the bottom left of the map on Nessus. Here, just patrol the area looking for Cabal enemies. And when you eventually do this part and collect that fifth one, the next step is called Await the World Eater. When inspected, it states the following. The decrypted communications indicate something is coming. Look for the arrival of the World Eater. It's for this very reason I definitely believe this is associated with the raid which comes out next Wednesday, that being the 13th of September. Now we all know the details so far about the raid. Not much is known, but Bungie have dropped a few hints here and there. We know the raid is called the Leviathan, as we saw with the PS4 trophy which is called Belly of the Beast, Objective, Complete the Leviathan Raid. A Leviathan being something associated normally with giant sea creatures who eat all in their path, as well as sometimes associated with spacecrafts. We had a concept image which was dropped by Bungie a while back which shows a planet swallowing structure. Notice the bright stars to the left of this giant structure. They actually form the constellation Cetus, which in Greek mythology means giant sea monster. We then saw this image pop up from the game and the map Nessus. It shows what looks to be that very structure from that concept art. Also interesting is to point out Bungie released another version of this concept art which shows a ship flying down to this structure. Notice the PS4 trophy for completing the raid has this icon in the top left corner. The shape of this icon is very similar to the actual shape of the front of this structure. More info as well was dropped with the collector's edition bundles for Destiny 2 which also showed like a giant leviathan sea like creature. And it is this guys which leads me to believe this quest at least continues into the raid. Await the world eater. It just makes sense. I do believe though it will be for something good. Obviously though not an easy feat. Exotic weapon, possibly in my opinion, something we ain't seen or heard of yet, and I cannot wait. Exciting times ahead people, they seriously are. Like I said, the raid comes out next Wednesday, which is the 13th of September, so stay tuned for that. So yes guys, get prepared, get out there and grind for this quest line. Just to be sure of when the raid does come next week, you ain't left going back for it while everybody else is in the raid. Because like I said, the first part of this quest can take you over an hour if you're unlucky. And on that note guys, I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stay.